to dissolve a nose filler, you use the VASP. I had to go there four times. Dissolving the filler was more painful than getting the filler. We just could not get it done. The no surgical nose drop is supposed to be this risk-free alternative for quick results, but actually there are studies coming up talking about the dangers of it. Hi guys, it's Dominica. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my nose and basically the non-surgical versus surgical nose drops because I had both done and I want you guys to make better informed decisions so to be aware of more pros and cons and especially with non-surgical nose drop, it's relatively a new thing, I think relatively new, so it's a little bit hard to know what to expect and what can be done and what cannot. So I just want to compile with you everything that you should know to make a well-informed decision if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel in a month there's a one year anniversary of my surgical nose drops so i'm gonna make a video talking about all about it so if you don't want to miss it make sure you subscribe so in january 2020 i went to this one surgeon and he was a surgeon slash you know cosmetic procedures guy and uh, i wanted a nose drop that's why i went there this is the picture of my nose naturally so i basically wanted the bumper moved and make my nose smaller so i went to the surgeon and basically he was uh, he wasn't giving me a good vibe and by the way if your doctor doesn't give you a good vibe go to the next one and i know you paid for that consultation so you really want to work out but if you don't have a good feeling about your surgeon go away because you can do so much damage to yourself if you go to the doctor which will screw things up for you and have to get another nose drop and stuff so basically with this doctor he was sort of not really understanding why i want a nose drop he was saying that my nose is fine and he doesn't see a need for me to have a surgery but obviously I was insecure about my nose all my life and this middle-aged man telling me there shouldn't be it's not gonna change anything but he said that we could get a nose filler and I knew about it and he basically said that with a nose filler you know we can get rid of the bump and you know it's not a surgery it's not as serious it's just a filler and it should last for 12 to 16 months so uh, overall like it's you know I don't have to pay this crazy amount of money right away but every year year and a half I followed his basic advice I did a video about the whole experience over here so you can go and check it out if you want to but basically I was recommending the non-surgical nose drop for that very reasons I was like okay so the surgery is not that crazy something gets screwed up you can always dissolve it and now going into the non-surgical procedure as you can see that my natural nose to get it straight we had to put first of all like the filler in top of my nose to get it like straight out there and then i wanted the nose to be a little bit you know having a little bit of that so also a lot of filler went into the tip of my nose and this is the final effect soon afterwards that you could see in the other video and this is the comparison before and after how did it look right after the procedure over the time i just I wasn't loving it. I think that's the best way to put it. I wasn't loving it because, okay, my nose, you know, was straighter, but it was way bigger. As you can see, it was overall way bigger and I wasn't taking like a proper pictures, but here is the random slideshow of selfies that I took during that time. So as you can just see, it looked fine, but it was just big. I think that was my main thing, that the effect wasn't wow. And I realized that my insecurity is not just about the bump, but the fact that overall it's a too big nose for my face that doesn't look very very feminine and over the time i felt that i want to get a surgery i just felt that i am not happy with the result i'm not happy with the way i just simply how it looks it's too big and i have to go and get it redone like all the time and i'd much rather just have one surgery and sort of get it over it for the rest of my life the filler is like cheaper overall um but if i was to do it for the rest of my life every year it would be way more expensive and i don't like the result so why not to get the surgery so i found this doctor i was really happy with what i saw on his website he had so many good recommendations and always guys look into recommendations of the doctor look at what people have to say about him not what he has to say about himself but what other people say about the things that he done look for pictures so i found this one doctor had a really good feeling about was really excited about it i had a video consultation with him and everything went super well and also like his vibe was all different he wasn't shaming me 
say that I want to have a nose job, obviously, and he was like very understanding of it. And I showed him my nose and he said, okay, you'll probably want to get rid of the bump, but then when you get rid of the bump, we'll have to, have to shorten your tip so it looks better with your face. And yeah, he was just very good, very good experience. And he told me, I told him that I have a filler in my nose currently. And he said that we cannot get a surgery while filler is still there. It would make a surgery way, way harder. It would make everything way messier. Because, you know, he would go in and be like all of those filler that he needs to clean up surgically. And there's, you know, obvious a risk that it's gonna move inside. And overall, he told me like, they need to try to get dissolved before we can book a surgery. I didn't want to get back to the guy that I had my non-surgical job with because I didn't have that good feeling from the doctor. So I went to another one and he was, okay, we're going to dissolve it. And basically the price of dissolving the nose filler was exactly the same as getting the nose filler. So it was expensive and I had to go there four times. So the whole process of dissolving is way worse than of getting. And to dissolve a nose filler, you use the VASP extract, basically, like the VASP venom, I think, I think, I think, don't quote me on this. I'm quite sure that this is what it is. So when I went to get it dissolved, firstly, we did a check on my arm, like the doctor injected in my, uh, here in my wrist, to make sure that I'm not allergic to VASPs. And he said that if I was allergic to VASPs, we just could not get it done. There's nothing else that could be done. If I was allergic, then that's it. I have to wait for it to dissolve by itself. There was nothing that could be done. Luckily, I didn't have any uh, allergy symptoms. So we went and got it dissolved and it took four sessions to dissolve it. It was painful. It definitely was. I feel like the when I was getting the nose filler, like I didn't have any anesthesia on it or anything, like no numbing cream, nothing, you know, it was just like the getting the um, thing in. But for some reason, I felt that that dissolving the filler was more painful than getting the filler. The needle in was painful, but then when the venom was, you know, going all over it, I could feel it. And overall, like, it was more painful. And at the end of it, after four se sessions, the doctor said that that's it. It's been four sessions. He cannot promise me that it's fully dissolved. And he actually told me that it's impossible to get it fully, fully dissolved to every little bits of it, that at this point, most of it is dissolved. So it will be fine for the surgery because there are little bits possibly left. And then I went and got my surgery. Fun fact, after the surgery, I asked my surgeon if there was any filler left in my nose. And he actually said that, yes, he found small bits left and they looked like a jelly and he said that he tried to remove it However, to make sure that it's removed He'd have to take out part of my tissue and he hasn't done that So there's always a risk that something was left and when it gets dissolved my nose would look weird However, it's been right now a year from surgery. It looks fine. So I guess, you know, everything worked out And with my surgery, this is my nose I'm gonna also, you know, put a picture over here for you guys So uh, as you can see the effect is just much better than the non-surgical one simply because okay my bump is gone but also tip of my nose is smaller and overall the nose is just much cuter and much nicer and of course with the surgeries there's more risks of course it's a surgery you're in full-on anesthesia the healing process overall is you know, way more serious. So that's definitely something to think about. And I wouldn't tell you that surgery is always better because it also depends. I know that some people are unhappy with their doctors and it could be a little bit tricky to find a good doctor for the nose surgery. So like when I went to the first one, I knew that he's like a professional doctor. So I kind of felt that what he tells me must be the truth. He must be right and he must know what he's doing. But then, you know, my the doctor that I actually went to get my surgery with gave me way better vibe, a way better feeling first of all when you're choosing a doctor make sure he's specializing in like facial nose surgeries the doctor who's great with the breast augmentation doesn't necessarily have to be great with nose jobs also it's much different technique that you have to use, much different aesthetic. So make sure that your doctor is specialized in facial nose stuff. Like the doctor that I went to, he's doing yeah nose drops and like eye lifts and like, you know, facial stuff. Make sure also that the doctor doesn't promise you anything impossible. That's a very bad sign. My doctor, my surgeon, he sort of told me, you know, he showed me the pictures of how it looks like from the other girls that he gave a nose drop 
to. He didn't promise me exactly how it will look like. He told me, okay, I'm going to cut down the bump, but I cannot promise you that it will be 100% gone. It sometimes happens that although we cut the bump, the afterwards a little bit is left. And even on my nose, as you can tell, it's not 100% straight. There's a little bit, you know, of that, but it's perfectly fine. I don't want to get anything done with it. So he also told me that sometimes it happens that things don't heal exactly how you want them to heal. It's no one's fault. It just sometimes happens. Of course, also look into online reviews the doctor that I went to had multiple really good reviews and also people were saying nose drop and you have to make sure that you're talking about nose drop because breast augmentation or like butt lift or something totally different thing than nose drop this is something so personal to you you're having a surgery about the center of your face so make sure that you're on the same page that he understands what you want to get done you can also bring him pictures show him the pictures of what you would like as she was showing my doctor pictures of Cindy Wolfie, Cindy Kimberly, I think that's her. I was just like showing the pictures of her and I thought like this is in general what I aim for and like my surgeon was like yes this is what we'll be aiming for but obviously I cannot promise you for 100% that's how it's going to look like. I also talked with my surgeon, the one who did surgical nose job about fillers in general. It was very nice, we just had a chat about those stuff so he told me that there was few patients of his where he recommended nose filler instead of uh, uh, surgical nose drop. He said there were some which needed just a very very minor adjustment. Someone who just needed like a little bit of filler. In certain places there was like one woman who just like needed a little bit on top. So in her case he told her like you know nose filler actually could be a, you know it's a good solution for her because it's a little bit of tiny thing. But if you need a major change to your nose it's better to have a surgery. In my opinion you, you saw the results. You quite clearly see that the result of my surgical nose drop is so much more aesthetic and prettier than the result of my non-surgical nose drop. So if you need some very minor changes, the filler is perfectly fine, but if you have a nose like I did before, where you need to put like shitloads of filler in to make it straight, it's not going to be that great. And also, I didn't really tell you that, but my surgeon told me that the filler will last like year to year and a half, but already after a few months, I could see that it sort of goes away. So as you can see in the first straight afterwards you know my nose is straight but also you know it's a little bit going upwards but this is the screenshot of the video i did two months after my filler so already you can see that my nose is not pointy anymore it's going straight i'm not sure if you can see that but basically when you look at the tip of my nose it starts to fall down i think that's the best way to describe it now you can see the sort of like bump in the middle more that from the top and from the tip it got dissolved a little bit and it's just been two months since the procedure another thing about the nose filler is that it's being sort of branded and portrayed as this very quick and not risky procedure with of course surgery surgical nose drop we are aware there are certain risks to it obviously full anesthesia the nose drop like going inside breaking the bone and stuff obviously we are aware that this is risky and the non-surgical nose drop is supposed to be this alternative this risk-free alternative for quick results but actually there are studies coming up talking about the dangers of it so when I got my non-surgical nose drop I had to sign up like the paper about the possible dangers but you know when doctors give you know give you that that you're okay yeah they're just doing that to make sure like I don't sue them if for some reason something happened so I was just like yeah I'm gonna sign it whatever but the doctor didn't actually warn me that verbally that there are any dangers he was just more that like you know this is like a paper you need to sign before we can do it and then when I was with my surgical nose drop doctor he was the one to tell me that there are actually certain risks with getting fillers um which i wasn't aware of he said that getting a filler messes up the entire like blood flow in the in the nose in the area and i was like okay i i didn't wasn't quite aware of it and i'm not a doctor i haven't done the research but you can google like the risks of nose fillers so i just googled randomly and there's this one about some woman where after the injection basically in just went to her sinus or something like that which fractured her upper jawbone caused some of her teeth to die and led to headaches blurred vision post-traumatic stress and insomnia and i don't want to be talking here about the risks of it and stuff because i'm you know not a doctor but there are definitely also risks to nose filler especially if you don't go to the proper doctor but to i don't know beautician who doesn't have like a proper training and as i said before it's branded as this very safe alternative and maybe it's safer but it's still not 100% safe 
safe, which is worth to remember. And at this point, I'm just rambling and I'm really sorry about that. I just wanted to make this video to show you that it's not that non-plastic surgery is this super amazing alternative where everything is perfect, the results that you can achieve, they can be nice, but they are limited to a certain extent. They cannot make your nose smaller and they don't fix your bump. Your bump is still there, it's just you make everything around bigger so that your bump is not visible, but then overall your nose is big. So if your nose is already quite big and you see at your bump, just imagine how much filler you have to put in to sort of even out your bump. From my experience, I'm way happier with my surgery. I was happier to go get it done and after a, a week I had to be in bed sort of until my cast was off and then for a few weeks be careful but overall the whole experience was one time and I'm done for the rest of my life my nose is here I'm 100% happy and I will never have to think about it again the result is also way better for me with the surgery than it was with the non-surgical nose drop so that's definitely things to take into the considerations I'm curious to know what you guys think actually if any of you had a non-surgical nose drop or sort of above if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my surgery video in which are gonna come up i think next the beginning of next month so i hope you're having a very very wonderful day and i hope to see you again in all my videos bye bye let up the suicide doors this is my life homie you decide yours i know that jesus died for us but i couldn't tell you who the side was so i parallel double park that motherfucker sideways